happy Saturday, my friends. Sun is shining, glorious day. God is good all the time. God is in control, even if it looks crazy around you right now. He is in control, total control. You can really trust God. I think I want to talk a little bit about what happened to our body when we get saved. We know what happened to our spirit when we get born again. Our spirit becomes alive and connect with the Spirit of God. So it's a connection that has been birthed when we say yes. But let me read from 2 Corinthians to you. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new cre creation, a new creature. The old things passed away. Behold, new things have come. So what happens actually when we get saved? Because there are scientifically proved, they did research on people who met God, who got saved, what happened to their body, because something happens to our cells too, not only our spirit. Everything becomes new. Everything becomes touched by a heavenly power, heavenly influence. Everything, not only our spirit. The new creation in Christ Jesus starts to be imprinted on every cell in our body. Do you know that? So amazing. To be saved is to be healed, to be restored, to be touched, to be saved, to, be, to get the light into our being. But it's also affecting our physical body because God has created this body. So we go from death to life. When we are in the light, we are living in the life of God, the divine source of every being, the divine living. Every cell in our body are being touched by the Spirit of God. So when our inner being, our heart is being changed, our cells also change. That's the scientifically Fruit. So who we become when we are a new creation in Christ Jesus also affect our physical body and our cells. Isn't that amazing? God created us with a physical capacity to be transformed in every cell of our human body. They're also being transformed. That's why it's so important to spend time in prayer and grow in His grace and knowledge about Him because it ref ref reflects our cell system too. It reflects our mind, our physical body. And I know, you know, what's going on here with this virus I study something today about the 5G that is coming, the 5G network that is going to be very, very powerful and affect us maybe physically, not us, but people on this planet because it's very, very strong. But either way, how that biological weapon is going to come in, God has an umbrella for his people physically that's why he calls us into deep prayer also because it's healing it's healing something is happening when we are standing up and pray i think the enemy wants to shut down the body of christ on this planet and he's trying to do it through closing down our churches our buildings but we are much more than a church building because we are the body of christ and if you watch a little bit on 
different uh, places on this planet right now where hundreds and millions of people are worshipping all over this world. They're walking around in the streets of Israel, of Brazil, Germany, Italy. They're praising God. They're singing worship songs because you can't quench the body of Christ. You maybe can take the building away from us, but we're much more than a building. You can't destroy the body of Christ. We will raise up in another form. We're still alive. And God is calling us to prayer, to intimacy, to come closer to his presence. The more we pray, I believe this, the more we seek God and pray, the more protected we are. We are protected by faith too, by his blood. But it's not enough to just walk around on this planet and do whatever you want and have a, like a half-hearted relationship to prayer. And because you're, you're lazy, you don't want to take that time or you don't have, haven't understood the, 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 the treasure, how God wanted us to live with him in a relationship of love, in the intimacy, in the throne room, living in prayer. Let thy kingdom come as it is in heaven. In heaven they're praying all the time, worshiping God. And that is an atmosphere with an energy that is completely healing. That's why when we come up there one day, we will have glory bodies, eternity. We will have new bodies that will never be sick. But we can have a little piece of that here. Do you understand? By worshiping and spending time in his presence, that does something to our immune system. I'm certain of it. Like I said, what God said to me the other day, if my people are seeking me, are living in purity, living close to me, taking my word, believing my word, they will have a supernatural immune system against those crazy things that's out there, maybe technolo technological stuff that is affecting people's bodies. They maybe call it a virus, it may be something else that's going on, I don't know. Either way, the source of it, it's, it's dark, but we are God's children. God has always kept his hand over his people. He always protected his own. So when we spend time in his presence, I believe we are more protected physically from the pestilence, from the things that are coming in the atmosphere. You see, when we have the power of God and we are living in prayer, we can change the atmosphere wherever we go. True story. We have that power inside of us to change the atmosphere. That means that it can change the, the atmosphere that is polluted and toxic and is killing people. We have the power we are captures, captured into a, a divine umbrella with God when we are living close to him in prayer and close to his, his presence. So where we go when we're living, the anointing is so powerful. It's not only for other people to be healed and delivered through you and me, but it's also for your own protection. It does something to your immune system. To be close to God is not only for your spiritual man, it's also for your, of course, it's for your soul. He heals your souls, he heals our diseases, but it's also for our bodies. He has created this body. I'm God's creation. I want to read another scripture because, you know, even don't be scared of this because we are covered by his blood. We covered through, I just want you to understand what happens when we are in contact with his presence. When we are in contact with the power of God, when we are in the throne room, Moses was completely transformed. 
He had to use a veil over his face when he came down to the people. They couldn't look at him because he's been with God. No doubt that you are, you are going to be changed every time you're in God's presence. When you are together with him, when you spend time, every time something happens to you, you're going to be changed. Let me read this, this scripture. 2 Corinthians chapter 3 says in verse 17, Now the Lord is the Spirit, and where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. But we all with unveiled face, beholding as in a mirror the glory of the Lord, are being transformed into the same image from glory to glory, just as from the Lord, the Spirit. Wow. Did you understand that scripture? We are being transformed every time we're in His presence. We go from glory to glory to glory to glory. How much time do you want to use in His presence? The more time you use with Him, the more glory will come on you, on your life, and also on your body. It will, reflect, it will affect your cells. You're going to witness something powerful here on this planet that you've never seen before. And that is to see a whole nation covered in His glory. I believe it. Nations will be covered in His glory. We've never seen it before. I believe it's going to happen. I believe it. You see, the Holy Spirit is changing ourselves. Did you know that? It's true. Scientifically proved. The people have done years of research on this. The Holy Spirit is changing ourselves, is healing ourselves. The kingdom of God is going to take a shape and a form on this planet where we are captured captive into a healing room here on this planet where we're not going to be affected by all these viruses and all this dark stuff coming from the antichrist world that is raising up now the new order system that's trying to take form here on this planet but you see when we pray something happened in the atmosphere Physically, something happened in the atmosphere that protect us, protect ourselves, that we are not going to be affected by these viruses. It's also scientific, scientifically proved that when a person pray, it will impact his cells and his very being. It's very positive that hap what happened to our bodies. To be with God is not only to pray, but is to be with Him, to sit with Him, to be in His presence is healing for us. So every time we are with God, we changed. We changed. How could that come? How, how could that be? Because every time we're in His presence, we become more like Him. The closer you get, the more like Him. You will be a reflection. It rubs off the presence of God. And it does something to your system, your body, your immune system, your organs. It does something to our brain. We are being changed more and more to his glorious image when we are in his presence his supernatural love is is healing to us it heals our hearts it heals us physically so our cells are flooded with his glory not only our spirit but our skin our cells inside a body our body is changed because the presence of God is so strong 
So the light that comes in our lives, when we are close to the light, it does something to us that is very healthy. So God know what's coming down the line. He knows the future more than us. And he tells us not to get scared. But he also tells us to draw close to him. When we draw close to him, we are, he draws close to us. And it's not only that we should worship him and, and all that stuff, you know, because we're Christians. He knows that we need that healing and that protection that is in that presence that he carry. Isn't that powerful? So it's that's why all, also God wants us to be united, be in worship, live in worship, live in prayer, because it's healing to ourselves. And I think that is the supernatural immune system that God told me about for three days ago that we all gonna have, where we don't have to take some stupid vaccine. We don't have to do like the world are, are trying to fool everybody in the future because we belong to the kingdom of God. There are other rules there. It's another system, a heavenly system we are following. You're not going to be slave under the world system because of fear. Are you kidding me? We're going to be living in the presence of God. I mean, this time here with this coronavirus, I haven't had fear for a second. Not at all. And I know many of my brothers and sisters in, the, in Christ can say the same. There's no fear. Because we are covered. We are in his presence and there is no fear there. He got our back, people. Spend time in prayer. It's so important to be close to him. Think about how much healing and, 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 and uh, how much change that happens from glory to glory we are going when we spend quality time in his presence. It, it boosts our immune system to be with God. For real, it does. I'm so fired up for this today because, you know, I get a, a deeper revelation about the new creation in Christ Jesus. He's not limited to, to just that we are being born again and that we can receive healing for our souls. It also requires that when we are in his presence, we are becoming different. Something happened to our physical body when we are worshiping. That's why we need to keep doing it in this crazy time. Sing like you never sing before. Worship like you never worshiped before. Spend more time in the prayer room than you ever done in your whole life. And you will be supernaturally protected. God will do, he's doing something with our, with our bodies when we are close to him. Because we, we touch a little bit of heaven. That, that, that is the anointing. That is the power of God, the glory of God. You are sensing the peace of God, every form, the presence of God is coming, is changing us and is doing something to our system. Believe it and, 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 and just use quality time in his presence, my friends. Yeah, that's awesome, isn't it? It's so awesome. We're going to be okay, you know? If we follow God's word, if we live close to him, we're going to be okay. We're going to be okay. We're going to be covered. He's going to do a lot of miracles, a lot of signs and wonders. We're in, entering into a very special, strong time for the body of Christ. Yes, it's going to be darker out there. And for the world, it's going to be super scary, but not for us, because we're in him. And as I said, the more you spend time with him, the more he does something with your cells and your system, healing us, creating this immune system. 
have a glorious afternoon great weekend i'll probably come back tomorrow okay god bless you